someone calls you with uh, with problems, what do you do? Ask them how they would solve it. Well, you ask the average person, what would you do? A guy calls you up, he asks you how to do this, this, and this, right? Most people are like, oh, this, this, and this, and this. No, you got to feed it back, Mm -hmm. right? Be the mirror, feed it back, force them to try and solve it themselves. If they can't solve it, then jump in and redirect, right? So, you know, these kind of things, because otherwise your phone rings all the time because your people need you so much. And these are... These are very simple concepts that maybe you and I, because we've been in business and doing stuff for a long time that we're just familiar with, but maybe that salesperson that's never been in leadership or management, you know, they don't think about some of these small things. They actually find themselves, uh, and you hear this a lot in business today, you find, they find themselves being trapped to their business because, uh, they feel like the business can only operate with them there. Right. Right. Uh, an example I give is I was far more stressed at 20 people than I am at 120. Really? Yeah. Because you were having 20 direct reports? I had less leadership, less yeah. management, and I was doing too much myself. Right. Right. Uh, when we first started, I operated out of one of those old school checkbooks. 